The 29th lesson I have learned from the people of Broadway Church is to pay attention, be astonished, and tell about it. Of course, I have learned that lesson from the people of Broadway, but those words come from the poet Mary Oliver in a poem in which she's offering instructions on living. Pay attention. When I started paying attention to the gifts of people around me, I began to see a whole new world. I had often written checks for people to pay off bills, but one of the things I started noticing when I started looking for the generosity of people who don't have much money was that I noticed that people were taking care of one another about these things. I saw a group of neighbors create a micro lending fund for one another <laughs> so that they could pay bills um, when rent bill or an or a utility bill came up and they didn't have the money on hand. I saw a group of neighbors find doors abandoned in their alley and collect those doors, around 50 of them, and then invite neighbors to paint the story of their individual family or life on one of those doors. And then they collected an art exhibition of those doors. I saw a group of young people go and collect the words of young and old women and men around their neighborhood and they took those words of wisdom and they painted them in really large letters on enormous pieces of paper and they pasted them up on abandoned buildings around their neighborhood so that when young people went to school and when other folks went to work in the morning or afternoon or evening, they could come by those words, their words of wisdom being reminded of that. Be astonished Yes, whenever I paid attention, I was astonished. I have been astonished at what I have seen. And even though the racism deep within me has made me blind to this a bit, because I always thought I was the one bringing the wonder, <laughs> I began to see far more and far more powerfully things of beauty, stunning things that were happening in and around the life of the community. I learned that from you. Tell about it. Over and over again, both inside and outside this building, I have seen you all tell the story. Tell about it. These stories of astonishment. I loved it when Deborah Schaffner came to me a few months ago and said, I have something I want to do for the lesson for the contemporary church. I have a friend who's a poet. Her name's Manon Voice, and, and she um, has a poem called Threads, and I'd really love for her to come and share that with Broadway, and she did, and you can hear that um, on by going to Broadway's website and finding the lesson for the contemporary church from March 8th, 2020. It was beautiful. I saw it when, I, when Frances Leaf came and did the lesson from the Contemporary Church and talked about herself and her family and her family's um, struggle with mental illness and her dad. And it was beautiful. And she talked about how people came to her afterwards who heard this story and talked to her about their family, about themselves and the ways in which they interacted with that. I remember when Chuck Dobby came and told his story on Sunday morning about his hearing loss when he was a young person and the way it changed the course of his life and the way his life has been a part of that story in Indianapolis. And he has so often come to me and said to me, I have this student, I'd love for their story to be heard and he's told me amazing stories. Tell about. Yes, yes, yes. More and more and more. Pay attention, be astonished, and tell about it. And you will see and hear marvelous things. Thank you, Broadway.